Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and this week on your pop review, we're going to be taking a look at the pop animation Sailor Moon number 95 tuxedo mask vinyl figure. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. As I said this week, we're taking a look at the Funko Pop Animation Sailor Moon number 95 Tuxedo Mask Vinyl Figure. As you can see, there's Darian on the front there. There he is peeking up there. Display side there with the pink background. And there you have the back. We have number 89 is Sailor Moon with Luna. Number 90 is Sailor Moon with Moonstick and Luna. 91 is Sailor Mercury. 92 is Sailor Mars. 93 is Sailor Jupiter. 94 is Sailor Venus and Artemis. Number 95 is Tuxedo Mask. Now, I didn't really watch the, uh, the Japanese version of this. Um, I was introduced to Sailor Moon when it was on Fox Kids back in the 90s with the English the original English dub which you can no longer find anymore because it wasn't the official dub uh, so that's the version I prefer I tried watching the uh, Japanese dub uh, the official dub for the series and I was so used to the uh, the Fox dub that I didn't really care for the the true dub um you know i guess in the fox dub they removed all the japanese stuff uh stuff they renamed the uh, main character from tamashi or t whatever the hell her name is to serena that's the one i prefer i prefer the voice actress for that one um the real goofy style um uh, the, the voice actors for all the characters really uh, so I'm not sure if Tuxedo's Mask is actually Darian in the official dub or if that was changed as well but let's go ahead and take a look at the figure uh, first things first you will notice the clamshell packaging it does come with the clips hold it tight however he does come with a stand, but there is no place for the stand in the clamshell. Um, <clears throat> but I've always, I've always liked Tuxedo Mask. I liked him even more when he was the Moonlight Knight. Uh, just the design of the Moonlight Knight co uh, costume was awesome. But I hope sometime they do come out with the Moonlight Knight uh, Funko Pop. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at Tuxedo Mask. You got his top hat here. Uh, his white mask, it looks like they just glued it onto a regular Funko Pop head. You can see the black eyes behind it. Um, he's got one hand on his hip, the other one's holding a rose, which was his signature. When he was Moonlight Knight, it was a white rose. And as Tuxedo Mask, it's a red rose. Then when Darian became brainwashed and turned evil for a time he had the full face mask uh, for a while and then they reverted back to the domino mask um, very nice paint job you got the gold buttons the white bow tie and vest with the white shirt black jacket black pants and shoes very nice they uh, changed the uh, type of paint so it looked like shinier fancier shoes and he does, have, like I said, he does have a stand because if you try standing him without the stand, um, 
depending on where you stand him, you might be able to get a good stance, but a little shake, and he's going to fall over. And it just plugs in right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. See the peg hole right there. Nice red and black cape. Kind of looks like a magician. Um, you know, Funko has done... They've done a Rocketeer Funko Pop, which is extremely expensive. I really want to get it, but it's like $50. Um, they've done the Phantom. They've done Flash Gordon. You know... I would like to see them do a Mandrake the Magician Funko Pop. And all they'd really have to do is... Switch out the hands so he's not holding a rose, but instead a magic wand. Take off the mask and give him a mustache. That's all you'd have to do to have Tuxedo Mask become Mandrake the Magician. <laughs> For those of you who aren't familiar with Mandrake the Magician, uh, he is an old uh, a comic book character from the 30s who's owned by King Features Publications. But there you have it, guys. Tuxedo Mask. Pop Animation. Sailor Moon number 95. Tuxedo Mask. Vinyl figure. Um, his head does turn all the way around. I don't know if I mentioned that. Nice detail on the hair. You got the strap there on the uh, hat. Very nice. And you can tell some of the glue from the hat kind of seeped down there. But that's alright. It's not too noticeable. But there you have it, guys. Tune in next week for another pop review every Tuesday right here on Comic End TV. I'm Shannon. Have a good one. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Comic Again, where all geek culture collides.